Hi there, and welcome back to today's Adventure Stop with LJ and Cricket. Yeah, I know I'm probably looking like I'm wearing the same shirt. I actually have like 12 of these same shirts, and that goes along with my other shirts. When I find something I like, I just kind of buy a lot of the same thing, so it looks like the same thing, but I guarantee you it's not. Sure, Jan. But we're here for another home vlog today, and I'm gonna make some simple, delicious English muffin pizza. Are you ready for today's adventure? Come on, let's go. And welcome back to the kitchen. And I'm going to get some paper. You can actually buy this at Home Depot. And it's actually painter's paper, but I like to do meal prep with it. And what I do is I lay it down and that becomes like my prep mat. So if any crumbs or anything fall on there, I just scoop it on up, crinkle it up and throw it away. That's simple. The little life hacks. And as of today's video date, Sunday, February 4th, 2024. And I have a large package of English muffins I got, I think, from Mons, which is the same as Albertsons. It's their store brand. And the whole package was $2.29. So I think I'm going to make just a meal of, let's see here, two, four, six. Let's make it, and let's make it eight. All right, and I don't know if you made this when you were a kid. It definitely brings back nostalgia, but it's just simple jarred pizza sauce, English muffins, and you can use shredded, or in my case, I'm gonna use sliced mozzarella and pepperoni. All right, and there's uh, two ways you can prepare this. And you can put it in the oven or you can put it in the toaster oven. So being that I'm making a slightly bigger batch today, I'm going to be using the regular oven. And I usually bake it for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. And I put it on the lower shelf at 350 degrees. But again, what makes this really awesome is that essentially this is your so-called dough. And since it's already pre-baked, pre-made, all you do is take your jar of pizza sauce, lay it on there. And I've been making this since I was a, a wee lad, a kid. And that was one of those fun things you can actually learn to cook on your own. So it's one of your favorite first rep recipes was to make homemade muffin pizza. And the oven is currently preheating at 350. And look at that, I was able to squeeze all eight of them onto my little tray there. So you see, that's what I'm talking about. See all these crumbs? Instead of sweeping them onto the floor, whatever it may be, they just neatly get wrapped up and tossed away. And next, I'm just gonna spread out the sauce. Time lapse. And there you go, fresh out of the oven. Still bubbling away. I love how the pepperoni gets a little crispy like that. Mm. And it's really hard to screw this up because the muffins are already pre-made, pre-baked, and all you're doing is basically toasting them back up. 
Mm. Let's serve this up. And of course, I'm going to keep it easy and simple and serve it up on a paper plate. Take a look at that. Ooh, I'm going to burn myself, but it's going to be so worth it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You know, every once in a while I'll mix it up too and I'll use uh, sourdough muffins and that adds a nice little different flavor to it as well. Mm-hmm. Hey, so I'm LJ with today's food adventure stop here at home making homemade muffin pizza. If you like today's video, give it a nice like and thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome, do me a favor and subscribe down below and we'll see you on the next adventure. Mm. Bye. <laughs>